Tim Quilty, MLC for Northern Victoria. Thanks for joining us again on Flow. Oh, thanks for having me on. Now, first of all, today being Are You OK Day, uh, what have you you've put some comments out in relation to that? What's important about that day today? Uh, so, obviously, we have this day every year, but um, I think after 18 months of COVID and lockdowns, uh, a lot of people are at their breaking points. Um, a lot of us are not OK anymore. Um, so it's more important than ever that, that um, we check in on each other and help each other. Um, and... And there's no access to mental health services. The queues are, are, are months long now to get in. So we need to help each other. Yep. And certainly a bit of sunshine for regional Victorians in your electorate as well with the um, uh, restrictions easing as of midnight tonight. Um, but uh, what is, what is, what's your view been just generally on the, the lockdowns and the fact the whole regional Victoria was locked down? Uh, there was never a need to lock down all of regional Victoria. Um, most places still never had a case. Um, obviously we saw the outbreak in Shepparton um, and, and the town got locked down but they've got that under control and that could have been the model for all of regional Victoria for the whole um, period um, if there was an outbreak somewhere, lock it down, get it under control and open them up again and everyone else should have been able to get on with their life um, And we're seeing that in regional New South Wales today, for instance the Riverina has been given a much freer run with the lifting of restrictions there but uh, the rest of New South Wales largely uh, is going to rely on being vaccinated to have those freedoms, what's your view on that? Look, um, I think getting vaccinated is a good idea. Um, I've, I've had my shots, but uh, it shouldn't be compulsory. We can't, government should not be forcing people to have medical treatments. There are a bunch of people who don't want a vaccine for whatever reason. Um, they've made their assessments about it, and it's just morally wrong for the government to be forcing it on people. Um, and on top of that, uh, so this idea of, of uh, vaccine passports was all based around the idea that we'd get herd immunity whenever it got vaccinated. But it's not going to happen because people can still transmit the virus even when they can get sick and they can transmit it even when they have the vaccines. Um, so really vaccines are only helping individual, the person who gets the vaccine themselves. Um, and it just destroyed the scientific credibility behind the argument as well. Yeah, so we've got this uh, movement now where people are going to be able to move around freely with New South Wales at least, but uh, this seems to be what Daniel Andrews is saying is his roadmap out of restrictions, say, for people uh, in Melbourne or even, say, in Shepparton, is that vaccination would be a precondition for you to be able to move more freely around the community. Yeah, it's just wrong. Um, we, we shouldn't be forcing this on people. Um, so I, I encourage people to get vaccinated, but um, it, at the end of the day, it's someone's choice, um, and I, we cannot support a government uh, that's creating a medical, basically a medical apartheid system. Um, if you if you're vaccinated, then you're allowed to be free, and if you're not, you're excluded from businesses. It's wrong, and I think the community is going to push back against it. It will be the end of the restrictions because we're just going to say no. Enough is enough. Now, the Parliament is sitting today, you've been able to grab us in a quick break just now, but it's sitting in a fairly limited form across the two houses, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Um, the upper house is sitting with a truncated sessions in the morning, and the lower house is sitting in the afternoons. Um, and uh, it's it's a struggle. But we at least we we are sitting now after a month off, um, so we get to at least ask questions of the government and hold them to account. Well, I'll let you get back to that, Tim Quilty. Thanks for joining us briefly here today on Flow. Much appreciated. Thanks a lot for having me on.